In the previous video of cell signaling, we discussed about the TGF beta structure and its dimerization process. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the TGF beta signaling pathway in detail. The TGF beta signaling pathway, or we can say TGF beta, is the transforming growth factor beta molecule. In this signaling pathway, we have plasma membrane bound receptors, like we have got type 1 and type 2 receptors on cell membrane. Second, we have the ligand or signaling molecules for this receptor. It's TGF, activin, nodal, GDFs, BMPs, and AMH. So these are the molecules or ligands, we can say, that binds with the receptors and initiate the pathway. Now when the pathway is initiated, there are intracellular signaling regulatory molecules for this TGF beta pathway. And these are called R-SMADs or regulatory SMADs. The R-SMAD includes the SMAD1, SMAD2, SMAD3, SMAD5, and SMAD8, or we can say SMAD9. Moving further, we also need one more SMAD molecule, what we call as COSMAD. And for this, we have SMAD4 molecule. That will help driving the signaling pathway once our SMADs are active. And also one thing to remember here is that SMAD6 and SMAD6 molecules are called inhibitory SMADs or ISMADs. Now let's get directly to the signaling pathway. In this diagram, we see we have the cell membrane having type 1 and type 2 receptors. That type 2 receptor is for ligand binding or signaling molecule binding. And type 1 is for mediating the intracellular signaling. The detailed structure and phosphorylation mechanism of these receptors have been discussed in the previous video of TGF. Now moving forward towards the signaling pathway. To initiate the signaling pathway, we need some ligands which will bind with the type 2 receptor. Here we see we have TGF beta signaling molecule. This TGF beta signaling molecule binds with the type 2 receptor monomers of TGF. And this will induce the dimerization of type 2 monomers as shown in the animation. In the next step, the dimerization will recruit the type 1 receptor monomers in the close proximity with type 2 receptors, with which the type 2 receptor shows kinase activity, thereby phosphorylating the type 1 monomers at serine residues. So ultimately, we have the heterotetrameric complex of TGF beta receptor. And in this complex, we have activated type 1 receptor. On the other hand, let's say BMP molecule acts as a signaling molecule. So it will bind the same way with monomers and will induce the formation of heterotetrameric complex. So here also we have type 1 getting activated. Why I have shown two different signaling molecules activating the TGF beta receptor is because different signaling molecules drive the recruitment of different SMAD molecules within the cell. We see signaling by TGF activin, nodal, and some GDFs mediate the signaling via SMAD2 and SMAD3 molecules. Whereas signaling by BMPs, AMH, few GDFs mediates the signaling via SMAD1, SMAD5, and SMAD8 or 9. But later on, both pathways merge at COSMAD activation with SMAD4. Now getting back to the TGF beta activated pathway. That's the first pathway. Here in this pathway, we see the activation of type 1 will recruit the SMAD2 and SMAD3 molecules. And we also need some proteins to drive the recruitment of SMAD molecules, like we need SARA protein. This protein is anchored to the cell membrane. This SARA protein permits the binding of R-SMAD to the L45 region of type 1 receptor. So on recruiting the SMAD2 and SMAD3 molecules, both molecules are phosphorylated by type 1 receptor at serine residues. Phosphorylation induces a conformational change in the MH2 domain of R-SMAD. This allows for SMAD dissociation from the receptor complex and SARA. So once it gets dissociated, it binds with the co-SMAD molecule, that's SMAD4. Here in this animation, we see SMAD2 or SMAD3 binds with the SMAD4 molecule. Now let's keep these things here. On the other hand, we have a pathway which is initiated by BMP signaling molecule via TGF beta receptor. It will recruit the SMAD1, SMAD5, and SMAD8 molecule. These R SMADs will get phosphorylated the same way like we saw in SMAD2 or SMAD3 pathway. 
then ultimately these will also bind the cosmad molecule that is the smad4 molecule as shown in the diagram so we have two different pathways activating two different smad molecules so now we have a complex of r smad molecules and cosmad molecules in the next step these complex molecules or the phosphorylated r smad cosmad complexes enters the nucleus where it binds transcription promoters cofactors and causes the transcription of dna like we see bmps will drive the transcription of mrnas involved in osteogenesis neurogenesis and ventral mesoderm specification whereas tgf betas cause the transcription of mrnas involved in apoptosis extracellular matrix neurogenesis and immunosuppression and many more so this is how tgf beta signaling pathway is driven within the cell with different ligand or signaling molecules i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel thanks